Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 20th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So this was a really, really, really interesting day to basically be following the stock market and uh, yeah, basically the market overall. So there wasn't that much of movement in the the foreign exchange market, there was some at the end of the session, uh, but uh, the real action happened in, for example, the, the cryptocurrency market that absolutely fell apart today. But um, people that want to, to see that video, I'll upload it later on tonight. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we are down roughly half a percent. And um, this was expected. We have been rallying since we basically found major support down here at 100 moving average. And we have rallied roughly 3% to the upside. And today we basically fell back. So the US dollar started to appreciate at the end of the US session, mainly due to the fact that, that um, well, according to the minutes uh, from the Federal Reserve, the Fed is considering um, increasing interest rates earlier than expected. What that really means that Nobody really knows at the moment, but markets love to react apparently to those uh, kind of rumors. It's something that will happen years from now, not one month or a week from now, but years from now. So, so, um, so this pullback is probably just a minor pullback that will happen, uh, will occur the next uh, one or two trading days. So we'll most likely fall back towards the support down here at the uh, 20 exponential moving average or the middle of the bullish band. We were fairly overstretched here and the candlestick from yesterday was fairly bearish and a pullback was expected, even though uh, whatever the Fed was going to say about interest rates. So uh, we are most likely going to drop back towards the middle of the bullish band and are expected to see another 100, uh, give or take, zero point. Uh, 85% to the downside before um, continuing this rally. If you manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are looking at um, a rally roughly to 1455 or probably even higher than that. We can see the next rally sorry, is not even on here, but, but this is just a matter of time before we take out these previous highs. There's no interesting, I have no interest in basically shorting this as we are basically in a uptrend. So let's look at the technical indicators. And as you can see, the second MACD is still bullish, it's pulling back a little bit. The RSI is also uh, becoming bearish. We are still still overbought at this point. Uh, CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish. So it's just buying the dips, a little similar to what we saw here, and just continuing higher. So US dollar, Japanese yen, this um, fell quite, um, nastily and then it rallied again we're trading at 109 203 at this current stage we're up 0 0.25 percent if you look at technical indicators we can see that we hit the bottom of the bullish band and bounced from there uh, macd is uh, flat rsi is bullish and cci is flat and the stochastic is bearish at this point so it is difficult to say whether or not where we're technically going if we fall towards the 100 moving average down here and then we're most likely going to bounce if we break above the 109 and then we are most likely going to target 110 or 111 so it's a matter of just waiting where this is technically going so it's just hanging around at this point so euro us dollar we rallied yesterday and broke down today and at this current stage we, uh, we need to get rid of this we are still above this trend line. We may pull back and uh, test this trend line and bounce from there. It's fairly expected that we are going to see a bounce from the trend line as we have been rallying for quite some time ever since we basically broke the uh, hit the 300 moving average down here at 11.72. We have basically been rallying, and the target here is most likely uh, 12.34. So that is most likely going to be the target in the long run. So pullback will most likely find a bounce off the 20 exponential moving average or the middle of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, RSI is bearish, and the MACD is technically flat at this current stage. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we did fall quite nasty, nastily. And at this current stage, we are finding support at the 50 moving average, and right underneath we have the 150 moving average. And 
I don't, it, the 150 has been massive support in the past. If that basically breaks, then we are seeing, we could see a move all the way down to the 200 moving average down at 0 0.75. That's a drop of 2.19% uh, to the downside. US dollar did rally at the end of the session, but if you look at the US dollar index, it also found massive uh, resistance at the 20 exponential moving average. And therefore, it's fairly likely that it will drop tomorrow. And then we'll see another rally here um, as well. But technical leaders do favor the downside. So we may see this just hanging around here as we have been for the last three weeks. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We did rally here and that was also expected as we were significantly oversold and overstretched here in the bullish band. So rally towards the 20 exponential at 1221 or the 40. That is very plausible at this point before going, uh, going lower. We are still in a downtrend, as you can see, and uh, we have been at the bottom for the last two weeks. And at this point, it's, it's just a matter of time before we rally. No interest in basically buying this as we are basically in a downtrend. So it is buying and selling these basically the rallies. Technical indicators, they are all turning around, and that's an indication that we mostly rally up towards the 40, probably the 50 or the top of this range. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.